Hey y'all, it's Wednesday, Super Wednesday on Geek Week. So, yeah, anyways, um, when I get home here, we're gonna talk about what makes up a superhero. What is the criteria for a superhero? And probably go over what some other things that may not necessarily know that people don't consider superheroes. In the meantime, have a cat racing down a hallway. Also, Geek Week, why, why, why not be backwashed by a periodic table? So anyways, the multiple criteria that I've been able to find online about make, what makes a superhero a superhero. What's the diagnostic criteria? I have it right here on my phone. Link will be below. Uh, to be a superhero, a character must fight for the good of society. It's mainly stuck in there to exclude supervillains. Uh, number one, the character has a second identity, or super identity. Assuming this identity sets the character apart from another person, that another person cannot conceivably adopt it, becoming the new Robin and whatnot. Titles and prefixes such as Captain Kirk do not apply to this. Number two, the character has superhuman abilities. This includes powerless characters. You know, Batman and his acrobatic abilities, but he does technically do some pretty crazy things. The character has an extraordinary, extraordinary, not merely distinctive, appearance or costume. The character is dressed and presented in a manner which emphasizes an extraordinary power, extra, extraordinarily powerful and or well-defined characteristic. The character inhabits a continuity slash shared system of stories in which most of the protagonists fit the above criteria. Okay, well, I was thinking something fairly geeky along these lines. What makes that a, I mean, that's pretty good stuff there. And this says that they must meet four of the five. Okay, well, let's try to think here. Do, does anyone like our game people meet that? Infamous, does he qualify that? Well, does he have powers? Yes, he has powers. Whether or not he got them from technology or he was born with them, you know, that doesn't really matter. He has powers. What do we got here? A character has a second identity, the super identity. Well, you know, he doesn't really have that. Um, character has extraordinary appearance or costume. He does. Once he, you know, once he starts going evil, he starts getting the veins on the side and things start, you know, his electricity changes color. That could be. Character is dressed and presented in which a manner that... Uh, that emphasizes an extraordinarily powerful or well-defined set of characteristics. He's dressed... Mm, I don't know about that. Does he? Or does he just qualify as like... I mean, he's basically just a, a page, an errand boy. But you basically do parkour in the game. So, does he look like that? I mean, he's got like the muscles and, you know, he's, he's fit. But I don't necessarily know. When a character inhabits a continuity shared or shared system of stories in which most of the protagonists fit the above criteria. I guess that could be, because there are other people, like Zane gets a power, it's not necessarily a protagonist, but yeah. There are other characters in the game that have, that have powers also. Whether or not he's a superhero, I don't know. Um... We could probably go over the same things for various other video game characters, but who knows? What characters do you think meet this criteria or whatnot? Comment below. Bye!